The Russian occupation army launched missile strikes on Odessa ports, where several foreign civilian vessels were hit. According to the representative of the Ukrainian Navy, Dmitry Pletenchuk, the enemy was targeting infrastructure, not vessels, because one of the main recipients of the products is China, with which the Russian Federation is unlikely to quarrel. I am not ready to agree with the thesis that this attack is aimed directly at the ships. Russians are trying, first of all, to hit the infrastructure. Pletenchuk told the Priamoy TV channel. He explains that these vessels, in addition to the flag under which they sail, have owners. Also, the countries that were supposed to receive these supplies are the largest consumers of the products that the vessels transport. That is, according to the speaker, we are talking about the final destinations where the grain arrives along the Ukrainian grain corridor, China and Spain. Of course, hitting the ships that work in the interests of these countries is probably the last thing the so-called Russian Federation wants, just like with the owners, who are from countries with which Russia would be better off not quarreling. But they, the Russians, UNIAN, are ready to take risks. Of course, they must understand the associated risks that these ships may be damaged. They are primarily trying to hit our port infrastructure. The speaker is sure. According to him, there is nothing new in this. The Russians carried out such strikes even during the grain agreement to which the Russian Federation itself was a signatory. Now, the only thing that Russia can afford in this direction is air terror. Platenchuk also commented on the international exercises, Ocean 2024, in which the Russian Federation participated. They were held in September in the Barents, Baltic, Mediterranean, Caspian Seas, etc. According to the speaker, Ocean 2024 is a bragging of muscles on the part of the Russian Federation and a desire to show that the aggressor country has certain allies. On October the 14th, the Russian occupation army attacked the Odessa Sea Trade Port again, damaging two foreign civilian vessels, killing one person and injuring eight others. All victims were civilians. The Palau-flagged dry cargo vessel Optima was damaged for the second time. A week ago, the same vessel was damaged as a result of ballistic shelling. At that time, foreigners were injured, crew members. Another vessel damaged today on October the 14th was the NS Moon, flagged Belize. Тырчики, блядь. Гумка. Нива, нахуй. Уазик. Хлопцы, всему пизда, ебать. Просто, нахуй. А это наш маленький рабочий блиндажик был. Ну, сейчас он не рабочий, зато большой. Я его все е... не хочу ругать с матом. Скажу, промолчу. Вон Сергиз не очкует. Все. Костер плакать будет. Пизда его буханочки. Выгорело нахуй. Две машины. Вся гуманитарка. Все пошло по пизде. Документы у пацанов сгорели. Все вещи нахуй. Всему пизда. А вот здесь вот мы когда-то жили. Да, а когда-то это сегодня утром. Ёпс. Стрелка от неохуящит. О, бля, баня еще топится. Бухан, сними костру. Я снял. Я его маму ебал, мотал, шатал. Костер, это твоя. Все, ничего не осталось. Всем пиздец. Все. Позиции больше не существует. Вот сфотка, смотри. Солнце. Как баллон не вгибал, блядь. 
Ебаный апокалипсис, блядь. Зато, блядь, эта хуйня целая, ебаный в рот. Качалка, нахуй. Выгорело все, блядь. Кроме качалки. Спорт это сила, блядь, да.